The Lakers are facing a crossroads that could define the course of the season and beyond. At the center of this crossroads is Rui Hachimura, a talent gem not yet fully polished, whose fate on the team is the subject of intense speculation. After a stellar rise in the 2023 playoffs, Hachimura found himself in a complex situation this season, struggling to maintain consistency and health. With a contract until 2026, he represents not only a financial investment but also a human and sporting potential for the Lakers. At 25 years old, Rui carries with him a blend of experience and youth, offensive skill, and positional flexibility making him an intriguing piece on the Lakers' chessboard. However, the challenge for coach Darvin Ham is significant. The search for ideal player combinations that can coexist and complement stars LeBron James and Anthony Davis is a constant puzzle. With the Lakers looking to reaffirm themselves as a dominant force in the Western Conference, every decision made has the potential to dramatically alter the team's course. In this context, the big question arises, should the Lakers seek to trade Rui Hachimura, looking for reinforcements that can offer an immediate impact, or should they trust in Hachimura's talent and growth potential? This is a decision loaded with tactical, financial, and emotional implications. Our analysis today will delve into all these aspects. We will explore Hachimura's tactical impact on the team, weigh the financial and contractual implications of keeping or trading him, and, of course, bring forth the various opinions of experts and fans on this controversial topic. We want you, our viewer, to be armed with all the necessary information to form your own informed opinion. And now, without further ado, let's dive into the analysis of players and team strategy where we will evaluate Hachimura's capabilities and how he fits or doesn't into the Lakers' long-term vision. As we delve into the complex dynamics of the Lakers' roster, the presence of Rui Hachimura raises various strategic questions. Hachimura, with his offensive talent and mid-range ability, offers an interesting arsenal for any team. However, his contribution to the Lakers has been mitigated by several factors, including the dominant presence of LeBron James and Anthony Davis, as well as concerns about his health and consistency. Let's first examine his strengths. Hachimura shines in isolation situations and is efficient in the post-up game using his physical strength to overcome opponents in the paint. His mid-range shot is a valuable asset, and he has shown he can be a capable scorer when given consistent opportunities. However, his role with the Lakers has been limited, often relegated to a secondary role in the offense, and at times confined to being just a three-point shooter. Defensively, Hachimura has his challenges. His lateral mobility and ability to defend quicker and more agile wings have been points of criticism. With the Lakers often facing teams with fast and skilled wings, Hachimura's defensive limitation becomes a vulnerability point. So, how does this fit into the Lakers' strategy? Under the leadership of Darvin Ham, the Lakers are trying to strike a balance between experience and youth, between solid defense and explosive offense. The challenge is to integrate Hachimura in a way that maximizes his strengths while minimizing his weaknesses. One possible solution would be to use him in specific lineups where he can exploit favorable offensive matchups without being defensively exposed. Furthermore, the arrival of a player like DeJount Murray, mentioned in rumors, could significantly change the team's dynamics. Murray would bring elite perimeter defense and playmaking ability that could relieve the pressure on LeBron and Davis, potentially creating more opportunities for Hachimura to shine. Initially, Lakers trade rumors suggested that D'Angelo Russell would be involved in a deal for DeJount Murray, but Russell's recent improvement on the court has ruled out that possibility. His significant growth and enhanced synergy with the team have shifted the focus of rumors towards Rui Hachimura. Now, Hachimura emerges as a potential trade asset, reflecting an internal shift in the Lakers' dynamics. This shift in the focus of rumors highlights Russell's success in asserting his role and raises questions about how to optimize Hachimura's talent. With Russell's rise, Hachimura's role becomes more uncertain despite his potential after training with LeBron James. The Lakers may consider trading him to strengthen areas of need in the team. Hachimura finds himself in a delicate position. His potential is clear, but it may not be fully realized with the Lakers due to the current team configuration. A trade could offer him a more significant role on another team, crucial for his development. The Lakers face the dilemma of maximizing Hachimura's market value or developing his talent internally. 
This decision balances between leveraging existing talents and seeking immediate success through strategic trades. In summary, the Lakers must assess whether Hachimura can be effectively integrated into their strategy considering current limitations and potential roster changes. The decision about his stay or departure will reflect the Lakers' priorities and their vision of success this season and beyond. As we delve into the financial and contractual perspective of Rui Hachimura's situation with the Lakers, we encounter a multifaceted scenario. From a contractual point of view, Hachimura has a signed agreement until 2026, which gives him considerable stability within the team's salary structure. With an annual salary of around $15.7 million, he represents a significant investment for the Lakers, an investment that needs to be justified both in terms of on-court performance and its impact on the team's salary cap. Analyzing the Lakers' salary cap situation, it becomes apparent that the team is very close to its spending limit, which restricts its options in the transfer market. This proximity to the spending limit makes it essential that any decision regarding Hachimura takes into account the financial impact that a trade or contract retention would have on the salary cap space available for other acquisitions. In the current NBA context, where financial management and compliance with the salary cap rules are as crucial as on-court performance, the Lakers need to carefully evaluate whether retaining Hachimura is the best use of their resources. His current statistics and potential indicate that he could be a valuable asset, but this needs to be weighed against the reality that his current utilization within the team is not maximizing that investment. On the other hand, trading Hachimura could open up salary cap space for the acquisition of players who better fit the Lakers' current needs, such as an elite perimeter defender or a reliable playmaker. Such acquisitions could, in theory, elevate the team's level and put them in a more favorable position to compete for the championship. It's important to emphasize that any trade involving Hachimura would have to consider the player's market value and what the Lakers could obtain in return. The final decision to trade or retain Hachimura should, therefore, be based on a careful analysis of how his presence or absence would impact the overall balance of the team, both financially and strategically. The question of whether to keep or trade Rui Hachimura has generated a variety of opinions among experts, NBA insiders, and, of course, the passionate Lakers fanbase. The discussion goes beyond just technical or financial aspects, but also encompasses the emotional impact and symbolism of such moves. Among experts, there is a division of opinions. Some analysts see in Hachimura an underutilized talent whose potential could be better explored in another environment or system. They argue that, given the Lakers' current structure and the need for roster adjustments to become title contenders again, trading Hachimura could pave the way to acquire more necessary pieces, such as a perimeter defender or a more consistent playmaker. On the other hand, there are those who advocate for Hachimura's retention, pointing to his untapped potential and the possibility of growth alongside stars like LeBron and Davis. They argue that Hachimura still has a lot to offer and that his evolution could be a key factor in the Lakers' near future. Lakers fans, known for their passion and deep knowledge of the team, are also divided. In online forums, social media, and comments on sports articles, a range of opinions can be seen. Some fans express frustration with Hachimura's limited use in the team and view a trade as a necessary change. Others, however, defend the player, believing that he can still become a vital piece for the Lakers, especially considering his performance in past playoffs. This diversity of opinions reflects the complexity of the decision the Lakers face. It's not just about numbers or statistics, but also about recognizing potential, finding the ideal fit of a player within the team's dynamics, and ultimately understanding what fans desire and expect from the franchise. The opinions of experts and fans, although varied, provide valuable insights into what Rui Hachimura represents for the Lakers, both in terms of his value in basketball and his symbolic and emotional value for the team and its fan base. In summary, the decision regarding Hachimura is not black and white. It involves a series of strategic, financial, and emotional considerations. On one hand, Hachimura offers offensive talent, growth potential, and a youthful presence in the roster. On the other hand, issues of fitting into the game system, defensive limitations, and the weight of his contract within the Lakers' salary cap present significant challenges. Now, the ball is in the Lakers' court. 
The direction they choose will say a lot about their ambitions and strategies for the season and beyond. And you, the viewer, have a crucial role in this discussion. Your voice, your opinion matters. So, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think the Lakers should keep Hachimura and bet on his potential? Or would it be better to pursue a trade that could bring in pieces better suited to the team's current needs? Remember, your participation not only enriches this discussion but also shapes the community and dialogue surrounding the Lakers. So, leave your comment, join the conversation, and of course, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future content, full of in-depth analysis and passionate discussions about everything related to the Los Angeles Lakers. Thank you for watching and participating. Until next time.